you stir your food as you cook it. But coming up next, Kevin O'Neill's in Wyoming County this morning at Buffalo Creek Llamas, and these guys are championship caliber. It's 552 on Daybreak. Well, this morning we're taking it to Shua, Wyoming County, to a place that's known for its unique animals. And it's Buffalo Creek Llamas in the town of Chava. Good morning, Kevin. Oh, you're making new friends. Well, I am, as a matter of fact, and there are uh, 26 new friends to make here at Buffalo Creek uh, Llamas, Wyoming County. How you doing? Nice to see you. Please don't spit on me. Hi. Nice to see you. How are you? What? Oh, it's okay. He smells my other llama. <laughs> is that a male or a female? That's a male. <laughs> Hi, all right. My new bud. <laughs> uh, how you doing? Nice to see you. Um, wh why llamas? Why, why did you get into that, Scott? Um, I like exotic animals, and they're one of the more practical and affordable exotics that you can get. You don't need anything for them. Um, so I started with a couple of them. 12 years ago now, right. and now we have 26. Yeah, and, and you've had and you've traveled with them as well. We got some some great pictures to show, and this is just great. To, look at these big giant ribbons on these animals. So, so this is a your assistance now. What you do in the in the summer travel with them and show them? Well, as as vacation time permits. Sure. Yes. <laughs> um, I always have to work around work and, and other schedules, but mm -hmm. try to get to as many shows with gas the way it is now. It's hard to get to distant. Good ones. point. Good point. So yeah. what would it be? You'd take one or two and, and have off to uh, to state fair. Um, usually, going to the bigger shows, I take at least eight or eight to ten. Mm -hmm. Sometimes twelve. Here in County, I have more sometimes because it's close. I can pack them in. <laughs> there are different sort of disciplines too. They're and showing right. You can do, there's halter classes where they're judged for their confirmation. Mm -hmm. There's performance classes where they have to do obstacles. Um, there's a pack class where they have to do obstacles with a pack on. Mm -hmm. And there's fleece classes where they're judged on the quality of their fleece. Looks like there's one that was taking acting class too. The uh, a llama that's uh, <laughs> in the nativity scene, is, uh, dressed as a. Which one was that, by the way? Dressed that as was a Crash. Crash, she's, way on the back. She's out and back somewhere. Who, who are they? Kevin's live in Jabo with some of his favorite friends. <laughs> with a llama. Ha have yourself a <laughs> merry llama Christmas. Make they love this. Just don't think Grandma Make got run over by a reindeer. I <laughs> uh, How are you? Do you want to talk with me? I'll, tell you, I'll take it over. Uh, Scott Dyke decided he wanted to own exotic animals, and he uh, chose llamas wisely. I have a certain kinship uh, with Scott and other people that own uh, exotics. I have uh, parakeets, so uh, kindred spirits, as a matter of fact. Um, we're at Buffalo Creek uh, Llamas in Wyoming County. Uh, these are Katie's mailing address. Technically, we're in the town of uh, Ajava, and we're heading out with the, we're hanging out with these extraordinary animals. Uh, by the way, Christmas is coming. You see the K's Jewelers commercials say it, diamonds, gold. You know what, guys, this year, say it with llama. Don't you want this Christmas to be remembered forever? And it would be. She'll never, <laughs> she'll never forget the Christmas you surprised her with llama. Not when it's under the tree, she won't. <laughs> <laughs> they are beautiful animals. All right, we'll check back. Thanks a lot, Kevin. Kevin is in Wyoming County this morning with some animals that are not as rare as you might think in uh, western New York. Hi, Kev. Hi, there are three ways to judge a llama, in case you're wondering. Uh, there's a fleece competition where uh, the, the judges will, will actually go through a checklist and, and go, hmm, uniformity, hmm, okay, fineness, uh, tensile strength, hmm, all right, tensile strength. So that's, that's what, then the other one is like halter, which is akin to sort of like a dog show where you're sort of looking at the structure of the animal. Okay, fine. And then they have, and this uh, amused us, they have uh, performance uh, champions uh, as well. So you go ahead, and, and prison, I joked, performance, what do they have, like, playing piano or trolling batons and stuff like that, but no, there are certain, uh, uh, well, I tell you what, Scott, I'll have you answer that. When a performance competition, what would you have a, a, a llama do? Um, it's it's obstacle courses. Um, mm. There's three of them. There's what's called a public relations class, which is geared towards things you might run into if you're out at a school or mm -hmm. a nursing home or something. There's straight obstacle, which is to challenge the llama and handler on doing difficult tasks. Mm -hmm. and there's a pack class, which is where they actually have to wear the pack. And do different types of obstacles, jump, step over, things like that. People at home are, are seeing uh, some of your award winners. Uh, tell me about some of the, uh, well, uh, some of the ribbons that you've won. Um, well, I have a couple of them that are five-time state champions, um, a national champion, several regional champions. So they've done really, really well. Mm -hmm. um, 
lost two of my superstars within the past 13 months, but mm-hmm. we have some up-and-comers. To <laughs> <take their place. laughs> uh, and and uh, one, one, you even got involved with acting. We see one uh, that was part of a nativity scene. Yep, crashed down here, dressed up as a lamb last year for <laughs> living nativity. And it goes to show you how mild-mannered they are. Yep. They, they, they see, I've hung out here, and I walked, they sort of, a, they come over, and they, they check you out, and they just, they just like to hang out and coexist. <laughs> Most of them, again, it's it's like a lot of other animals. Uh, it's it's part temperament, part upbringing. Uh, common question, and uh, that the, the the spitting, but they don't really spit at humans typically. Typically, they don't unless you really annoy them. Uh, <laughs> Most people that get spit on, it's they're in in the crossfire of a llama spitting at another llama. Uh-huh. Um, sometimes they're just really annoyed if they're at a show and about a poking and annoying, and yep. so they're a little more temperamental. Absolutely, I have an uncle like that. Hey, listen, so be, and you do sell your your wool as your llama wool? Yes, there's some yarn there. Mm-hmm. Um, we sell the yarn, the, the straight wool for spinners that like to spin it. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's it's wonderfully soft as well. Uh, BCLlamas uh, dot com, and he right. does have uh, uh, he, if you want to organize a, a small group, a, a scouts or senior group, you can come on out here as well. Kevin, you might have said it. Do they make any noise? They do. They make, there's like a humming noise, and I asked, why do they hum? And he said, because they don't know the words. They also make <laughs> sort of a Marge, they make sort of a Marge Simpson concern noise. They kind of go, hmm, oh, yeah. at each other as well. Yeah. All right, you got it. Thanks a lot, Kevin. Yeah, I grew up on a farm. I've seen a lot of barns. That's the cleanest barn I've ever seen. It's beautiful. Clean yeah. and quiet. Yeah. They do know. seem very friendly. The Marge Simpson concern <laughs> noise. Let's go to Doppler this morning as we begin, as we take a look. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's rejoin Kevin. He's out in Java with the llamas. They look kind of standoffish, don't they? They kind of look at you from a distance, chomping their gum. You know what I mean? Just kind of doing their thing, but they're very, very friendly, very social, and the llamas have accepted me as one of their own. Uh, BCLlamas.com uh, is uh, uh, the website. Uh, and we're about uh, about a tenth of a mile into uh, uh, Wyoming County. Um, tomorrow, a woman, uh, she said it was a really divine intervention. It was a, a message from above that she should follow her passion, and she has begun to create these wonderful works of art that you could uh, have in your home. It's a uh, beautifully decorated, uh, beautifully painted glassware. So looking forward to that show tomorrow. Oh, sounds like a nice Beautiful. one. Okay, look forward to it, too. Thanks a lot, Kevin. Thanks for watching Thanks Daybreak today. We'll see you back here tomorrow. Have a good day. Have a great Tuesday. Keep the umbrella close. <laughs> place to be. Fun living is the life for me. Let's spread out so far and wide. Keep Manhattan, just give me that countryside.